Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing good and staying safe. After a long time, I am talking to you. Many of you have asked me personally to make a tutorial on analog output of Innovance PLC. So I have selected today's topic, and today's topic is about analog output of Innovance PLC. So no further delay. Let's get started. In this lesson, we will discuss about what is analog output. writing a program of analog output and checking the program with a real plc first thing first understanding what is analog output you know analog output could be a voltage or current in innovance plc in the same output we can use as voltage output or current output and the voltage output range is 0 to 10 volt and current output range is 0 to 20 milliamp or 4 to 20 milliamp but what do you do with this analog output yes that's a good question actually we control some other devices or machines with this analog output let's say you have a variable frequency drive and uh, you want to control that drive by an external analog input so in this case you can use a plc to control the speed of that drive so how do you do that okay after some time we will make a program to control a drive or like you can you want to control a uh, uh, linear actuator with uh, analog input then you can make a very simple program for that actually we can control some other devices with this analog output it could be voltage output or current output so uh, before making the program with innovance plc you have to learn or you have to memorize some important data register to uh, write a program in innovance plc here my uh, first data register is m8000 m8000 means run flag that is when the plc is on m8000 remains on for all the time and the second data register is D eight four one four. It's uh, mode selection. As I said you earlier, that we can make any uh, output as voltage output or current output in Innovance PLC. So it's a very uh, good advantages of uh, Innovance PLC. That is when this eight four one four is equal to zero. That is when you move zero to this data register, the output will be zero to ten volt. If you move uh, One to D eight four one four, then the output will be four to twenty milliamp. And lastly, if you move two, then output will be zero to twenty milliamp. Now another two data register. These two are very important data register. That is, it's actually the output D eight four one five. When you move something to this data register, that will be the output value. for example uh, if i say like we want to transfer 5 volt to the output so what we move in this data register actually in innovance plc the scaling ratio is 0 to 2000 that is if you move 2000 to this data register then 8415 that is the output will be 10 volt so if you uh, want to uh, transfer 5 volt then you have to move 1000 so the scaling ratio will be linear scaling ratio and the ratio is 0 to 10 volt is equal to 0 to 2000 when we make the program then you will understand it very clearly so let's go to the program let's write the program firstly we take one continuously on you know then move k0 here we have to uh, move the zero function but in innovance you have to add one k any uh, number like zero now we transfer it d8414 so now that output that output this 8414 uh, 8415 or 8416 will be voltage output now we have to transfer the value that is how much uh, voltage i want to get that in that output 
so here you take another m8000 now we have to put another move so now if we transfer move k1000 to d8415 so i already have said you that if you move 0 to 2000 it will move 0 to 10 volt so if i move 1000 in this 8415 i will get a voltage near about 5 volt so now i will download this program to the plc and we'll check the voltage how much voltage i am getting i have connected my plc so i can download now after downloading here you can monitor the input output yes so now this zero moved to d1 8414 and this 1000 value moved to d8415 so now if i go to the plc and check the voltage there we will get near about 5 volt okay let's see okay now you can see the plc here here is uh, i have uh, connected the plc and downloaded the program now you see here there are some points these are the points for analog input these are the points for temperature input uh, thermocouple or uh, pt100 and these points are for analog output here v plus i plus and v i minus this is for channel 1 and v plus i plus v i minus this is for channel 2 for channel 1 if we want to get the voltage then v plus and v i minus if we want to get the current then i plus and v i minus as we already have program for voltage output so we have to put the multimeter here v plus and v i minus so let's put the multimeter here v plus v i minus you see we are getting exactly 5 volt 4.99 or 5.01 as i transferred value 1000 so i am getting 4.99 volt now if we transfer uh, the value to like uh, 2000 then we will get near our 10 volt so uh, now check after moving 2000 to that data register i have downloaded the program so i will test now what is the voltage of the output as i have moved 2000 value to that data register so i will get 10 volt as i said you earlier so here i put uh, v plus positive terminal and v minus negative you see 9.97 volt or exactly like 10 volt 9.99 9.98 so in this way you can get a exact voltage by in uh, giving the input as a like uh, 0 to 2000 or any other uh, scaling values in siemens or some other plc's it uh, ranges from 0 to 27000 or something like that. now we will make a program to control a variable frequency drive by analog output so let's uh, make the program so before making the program or writing the program let's have a look here you will see that for the variable frequency drive in general the frequency range is from 0 to 50 hertz and our plc output value is equal to 0 to 10 volt actually we see 0 to 2000 on the plc so 0 hertz means 0 and 50 hertz means 2000 now here m is the desired frequency so what will be the law you see for 50 hertz 2000 so 1 is equal to 2000 divided by 50 and m frequency is equal to m in into m suppose we want 30 hertz on the plc output to control the variable frequency drive so in this case for 30 hertz it will be 2000 divided by 50 into 30 is equal to 1200 so now let's write the program in this case we don't need this 2000 value actually we will put it by any other data register so first thing first firstly we see here our input value will be 30 hertz like in any uh, data register and that will be divided by 
2000 divided by 50 into 30. So, firstly we will divide it divide 2000 by 50 continuous run then div <coughs> k 2000 divided by k 50 to any other data register like d 20. Now, I am getting d 20 to that value 2000 divided by 50. Now, we have to multiply this d 20 to another value to get the uh, analog output. So, here what I take I copy this value now here instead of division you have to write multiplication and I already have got this d 20 value. Now, I have to put m that is m it could be any data register like d 30 it is actually m and we will uh, put this value to other data register like d 40. Now, this d 20 will uh, multiply with d 30 30 and the value will go to d 40 it is our actual analog output value which needs to be moved to this d 8415 so here i put move d 40 just d 40 let us download the program there is no value in this d 40 now we want to set 30 hertz so here d 30 you enter here enter element we will put d 30 and the value will be 40 uh, 30 ok set you see this 1200 this 1200 move to d 8415 so in this way you can make a bigger program or some other <coughs> calculation to drive a variable frequency drive 